Hey guys, welcome, welcome. This is just a random update on our building site. Okay, so stay tuned and let's get into the video. So we're doing the capping for the first wall. So we can put a beam and cast it. The carpenter has to do some woodwork there. See, you see, I can see, as you can see, the iron rod is in here. And then they will be casting it to hold the design in place. So these ones need to be done. So I will spare you the noise. We don't have electricity on site, so we use generator a lot to do a lot of the work and sometimes it's so noisy. So basically this will hold the black um, galvanized metal design in place and solid so people just can't um, knock it down and enter the compound. So that's what it is being done and it looks pretty good. I like it. basically that's how it looks all underneath the front design there's iron rods in there and then we've cast it with concrete to hold uh, the gate in place i mean this metal design in place So this is where they put the iron rods. So I guess um, fence wall beam. And it was done all around. So that's the final look. Nice and solid. As you can see all around where the designs are. So guys, this is my building site. I'm in the kitchen. So when we go home, and then I guess chickens or birds come here and lay. So that's six eggs. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I should go and pick it up and go eat it. I want to see how local chickens taste like. Top one, let me see. Gently. These are chicken eggs. Are they chicken eggs? Yeah. Open your hand. Mommy, bird mm. eggs are smaller. Okay. Okay, put it in. I want to help. <laughs> I feel so bad, guys. The I just want to taste open. local chicken eggs. Oh, God. Okay. Mom, what happened to the chicken? My investigation, it's local chicken. I'm not going to take it home. I'm going to leave it here so she can come back and meet her eggs and hatch it. <laughs> I was just, I was just interested. So I haven't lived in my house and the darn chicken is here on site when we're not here laying eggs. So she's going to hatch and take her chicks with her. Leave it alone, okay, guys? Wait, you really want us to take them home and hatch them? No. <laughs> you can't hatch it. chicken laying in my house and <laughs> running away. Ah, 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 ah. Shut it, go away. 
Chiseling of this huge thing is done. He said it shouldn't affect, it won't affect the strength of the wood. I don't know why it, um, it was done this big, but it was chiseled and this is how it looks. So I'm going to plaster. I'm interested to see, be quiet. I'm interested to see how they plaster over the iron rods. Use huge iron rods. So the huge pillar is gone and it's been plastered. And it looks so beautiful. The pillar was here. No more huge pillar. Love it. Now I have my beautiful hallway that I'm gonna do POP on the pillars to give it character. Oh the big pillars. for the pillar um, the stairs London that was protruded it's been scaled out plastered it was like way up to here somewhere and it looks good so this is the first floor one the last floor we don't have any it was the ground floor and then the first floor this is the theater room, and that's the stairs on the other side of the wall. If you can remember from our door videos, our, the heights of our doors were like 9.2 feet and I wouldn't get any door like that. So after back and forth, we decided that we needed door beams for all the doors in the house. So that's what is happening right now. Yes, it's extra cost, but it is what it is. We had to get it fixed because I'm not going to get a 9 um, point something feet door in Ghana here on the market. And I try to make it. And it didn't turn out the way I wanted it. So that's what we're doing. Door beams are done. Check, check, check. So of course, then it involves the steel bender, the carpenter, and then the mason will pour the concrete. And then after that, they lay um, blocks to cover the fan lights. Either we had an option of leaving it and put in fan light there that's going to be an extra cost i have lots of blocks so i decided to just leave the fan light in the main entrance and block up the top of all the doors in the house okay your girl is tired of wasting money so whatever i mean fan light is nice and fancy but to do all the doors in the house fan light is a bit ridiculous so no we're blocking it up and leaving the entrance fan light just like this guys sorry i'm off on sunday church is going on across the street i'm still doing my voiceover so the other option which my mason pressed a lot was to go with glass blocks i said absolutely not what are we are we in the 80s i am not doing glass blocks okay so that's an out i don't care if it's back in vogue it's not gonna be in my house okay because I, I, no i don't like it <laughs> 
so yes that's how it looked and i like it you know and here it is with one door in so you have an idea done and plastered it cost extra money but I, there's nothing i can do they don't have the height of the door that i wanted so i have to just do the door beam pretty much every single door in the house got a door beam yep so we can get the seven feet height for the doors every single door both downstairs first floor and last one, i'm thinking of closing this internal window that's the only internal window i left because this is michelle's room and that's her closet but i'm not going to put a door there so that window will reflect in the bedroom i don't know I hate internal doors. That's the only one I left, but now I'm thinking about closing it. I think it'll be fine. Close for window frames. <laughs> So if you're building, you know building is a step-by-step -step process. So now we've checked off the doors and we bought all our doors. The next big thing is to do our windows, okay? That's the window frames. And I had two people come on site. The normal aluminum windows, KS50. And then um, I have a, a company that, that does the plastic window frames, um, Cape Coast here. So they also came on site, gave me quotes and it was astronomical both of them will cost a lot so now i have to decide if i'm going with aluminium or the plastic okay have you had an experience did you go with the aluminium or the plastic what is the pros and cons of both let me know okay in the comment section guys because i need to decide yes the plastic one is more expensive than the normal aluminium one but i want some quality things and our windows are huge very big so we're going to spend a lot of money on windows so i have to make the right choice guys help me out so that's it in a nutshell these are the measurement i got for the windows all three levels and i have to make a decision so thank you so much for watching and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and share okay until next time smile